Every sourdough starter is a little bit like an individual character. Everyone acts a little bit different and temperature and weather play a role. I received my first starter from a friend, but it got less and less active after a few times. Today I know this was probably due to the bleached flour I was using. At the time I thought I had done something wrong. I decided to make my own starter. I still use it today and many bakers use starters that are many many years old. I feed my starter whole wheat flour. Other people use all-purpose or even rye flour. I li like to use glass jars from pasta sauce because they are easy to clean. On Thursdays I take the glass out of the fridge and start feeding it twice a day. I add 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of non-chlorinated water to 50 grams of starter. Over the next 48 hours the microbes digest the flour and the gases produce the bubbles you see in the video. In the winter I keep the starter in a room that is about 22 degrees warm. In the summer, like today, it is about 27 and things go faster. If I would keep feeding the starter, I would end up with way too much. So before I feed it, I transfer part of it into a jar in the fridge. We call this unfit starter discard and I use it for baking many yummy things. After I use the starter in the different loaves of bread on Sunday, I feed the starter again and put it in the fridge. Here the fermentation process continues, but a lot slower.